First off, remember your camera also works on its side, so don't be afraid to shoot vertical images. Most often, people shoot horizontal images when a vertical can give you a great flow to a scene. The famous war photographer Robert Capper once said, if your images aren't good enough, you are just not close enough. People often make the mistake of placing too much of their surroundings in the photo. Taking great vacation pictures doesn't necessarily mean capturing everything you see or experience around you. So get in close and fill the frame. Sometimes creating a quality image means getting out of that five to six foot range and trying a different angle, whether you go high or low. Why don't you try to go down a little bit lower? Yep, keep going, keep going, perfect. Not only does it provide a more unique perspective, but often gives you cleaner backgrounds. That's great, right there, perfect. A common misnomer when people take pictures outdoors under these bright, beautiful, sunny conditions is they think, there's so much light out here, I don't need to utilize my flash. I disagree. The extra life in the flash not only fills in the shadows on the faces, but is a much more flattering look. Getting shots of your family just standing around never produced the greatest results. Capturing scenes that involve activities can not only add that special something to your photographs, but who knows, you might even be able to use them for insurance purposes if you can get Dad breaking his leg as he tries to emulate Jerry Rice. Ooh. The main thing to remember is to have fun and experiment. Photography is all about having fun. Some images may turn into duds, but others will turn into studs. Arrgh. Another common blunder that occurs when people are photographing their family and friends is they position themselves between the sun and their subject, providing the most light on their subject's face. This often causes the subject to squint heavily since they're forced to stare directly into the sun. And the light now created on the subject is kind of boring and flat. Instead, try a few different methods when it comes to capturing people. One would be to turn your subject away from the sun, called backlighting. And as we slowly turn and face them away from the sun, the light is not only still beautiful, but their eyes are open and relaxed, and I can pop in that flash that I want to for that nice family vacation shot. Mm -hmm.